Okay, so this is the first uh, vlog with Chewy. I go by many main names. Uh, Jesus is my birth name. Uh, some of my friends call me Rio. My some of my friends call me Rio. Some of my friends uh, call me Zeus. But, uh, the majority of the people that I know, they call me, or my family, they know me as uh, Chuito or Chewy. Uh, why Chuito? That's like the smaller version of Chewy. Uh, because my dad's um, name is also Jesus, so they call him Chewy. And his father was also called um, Chewy because he was uh, also Jesus. So I'm actually the third. Um, yeah. Funny story, my dad got upset because he wanted me to keep the tradition going, but um, I kind of did, but I didn't. Um, I wanted to give my my kids more, not necessarily American sounding names, but more, um, uh, just be different, unique. I give them all my, my two sons biblical names, but I always say I have two prophets at home, Isaiah and Elijah. And Allison is um, my daughter's name. So as far as me not keeping the, the tradition, there was a little bit of <laughs> my dad's funny. He was um, he was uh, he went to the hospital and he was so happy. He was carrying my first boy. He said, oh, "What's his name? What, what, what did you uh, what did you call him?" And I said, "Isaiah." His name's Isaiah. And he got so upset, he kind of, he didn't want to break his joy either, so he kind of just, he couldn't handle it, so he just got my, my son and gave him to my mom, and uh, said, all right, it's time to go. <laughs> I think it's funny, looking back at it in hindsight, but uh, he just couldn't handle it. He, he was disappointed in me and upset, but hey, I stuck to my guns, I stood my ground, and today, hey, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I made my I made my choice, and that's it. It is what it is. You know, uh, I did. You know, after that, after I saw my dad feel bad, like I was like, should I have did it? And I was like, nah. I, I did what I did, and um, that's the name that I, that I felt like was chosen for him, so I gave it to him. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm I'm driving, and I'm driving to school because I. Um, so, so another story, uh, 2012, I, I went to um, Cancion Music School. Uh, 2012, I went uh, first semester, and then my wife went to Open Day, um, and she um, won a pass, uh, or she won a, a, a sponsorship, a scholarship to go first semester. So we started going together, and I was doing my second semester. Um, my wife uh, got pregnant with our first child, um, and so we she kind of had to drop off, and I and I had to leave. And um, well, I didn't. I chose to leave to, to help her out and take care of her. She she got very sick uh, during her first pregnancy. But yeah, so uh, 2020 during the pandemic, I decided that I wanted to go back to school and finish. So. Here I am, it is, uh, I had to start all over. Um, so um, this is, I, I thought I was just gonna be able to come back and, and finish off the two semesters that I needed, but apparently that's not how it worked. Um, and I'm kind of glad it did work out the way it did because um, I'm a musician and I'm horrible at music theory. So it was better for me to start off from scratch because I, I I probably forgot everything that I learned in music theory while I was coming to school back then. So um, I'm actually on my way there um, to school. It's a Saturday and um, I'm running late. It's supposed to be there at 6.45 and it's currently 6.43. Sorry guys. So um, anyway, um, yeah, this is gonna be a day in the life of me. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Peace.
also working on call, so part of the job is contact the contractor's customers, let her see what they want. Hello? Hi, uh, is this Tom? Yes. Hey, Tom, this is Jesus with Georgia Power. How are you doing today? Good. Hey, I got a call. I'm, I'm working, um, I'm covering on call for somebody right now, and they're saying that you need something marked does it need to be today or are you on site or what's going on yeah i'm on site i mean i requested this over a week ago and everyone showed up except for you guys so uh, i need it done i mean they're here right now with the uh with the digger so they're ready to go okay yeah i'm the only problem is it's going to take me a while to get there because i'm on i'm on the other side of the town i'm over here in gwinnett on the on the bottom side you might as well say walton county uh, -huh. uh so it's going to take me a while to get there okay yeah so right. just give, just letting you know, giving you a heads up. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, I'll I'll get, definitely get it marked today. Does there? Um, I wonder why that guy. I haven't looked at it yet. I wonder why that guy closed it that way. Is there any type of gate or anything to get in? Or no, there's no gate anywhere. Huh. Okay. That's I mean, the, the backyard has a. There's the front yard's wide open. The backyard has a small fence. But I mean, if you're not a child, you can open the back. You can open that back fence just fine. Okay, I'm gonna have to look into that too. Why one mark? Okay, all right. Um, I'll I'll get there today. I'm, I mean, I don't know what time, but um, I'm I'm on the way. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. It is what it is. It is what it is. He'll get it done though. <laughs> Okay, so I just got out of Cancion and I'm supposed to be go, um, I'm supposed to, ah, I don't know what I was trying to say. I'm tired. <laughs> so uh, I'm supposed to be trying to meet uh, Santiago, which is the name of the, uh, one of the worship leaders in the band that I'm in, uh, Yagox. If you haven't, checked them out. Check them out, please, on YouTube. Like and subscribe. We would appreciate it if you did. And also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. So I'm supposed to meet him today. Um, uh, and to go talk about something real quick and then um, so that's where we're going now so I'm gonna put that right here so we're off and um, sorry if I got some in my beer I just was eating so we're gonna be talking about um, something music uh, so I'm a musician Bendiciones, hermano. Cuídate. Cuídate. So I'm a musician, and um, I think every musician's dream is to eventually uh, get paid to do what you love. And uh, as a musician, I love to play music. I'm a guitarist, um, songwriter, 
as well even though i haven't released any songs yet i got a bunch of songs ideas and stuff that eventually the plan is to release them and i'm also a little bit of a singer not that great though i'm trying to i'm a work in progress let me just put it to you like that so i like to sing to um in the shower but uh, uh no but seriously i want to uh take singing lessons as well um i know how to control my voice pretty good now i didn't at the beginning which was um you know when you're trying something else out uh, when you're trying something out it's not always going to be the best or the greatest but with uh, everything like everything else you can um, you can get better you can progress as you practice the more you practice the better you'll get you can't you can't get the results without putting in the work so you must put in the work you have to put in the work in order to achieve the results that you want so with that being said, um, you know, I like watching anime. Uh, I, there's one on Netflix now that I'm, that I love to watch, which is Demon Hunter. I mean, I, I love, I love anime. I love, I think it all started off with me anyway. So, and you might not call me a true anime fan, but I started off with Dragon Ball Z. Or actually started off with Pokemon, if you want to, if you want to consider that anime. And then Dragon Ball Z. And then, um, but recently... It took me forever to finish watching Naruto. Um, it took me forever. I, I started that, I don't know how many years ago, and I binge watched it for a while. And then I felt guilty, and then I stopped watching it, and then I got back into watching it. And, uh, but anyway, um, I finally finished that, and then I'm watching, and then, of course, Attack on Titan. And um, My Hero Academia, and now it's, uh, Demon Hunter on Netflix so I really like it uh, recommend anything to me that you think I might like um, and then I'll check it out but I said all that to say this yeah I love watching anime but I'm a musician like I said so you as a musician I have to get my priorities in order am I going to binge watch Demon Hunter or am I <laughs> practice you know what what am I going to gain what am I going to gain by watching anime? You know, what am I going to gain by watching anime? Versus what am I going to gain by playing guitar? Well, I can tell you right now, I can tell you right now, right off the bat, I can go ahead and tell you that I'm not going to achieve my dreams by watching anime. Unless my dream was to become an anime creator and then I could get inspired by it and then create my own anime. No, but that's not the case. The case, the thing is, I'm a musician. So in order for, to make my dreams come true, uh, which I think God put that dream in me, I have to do my part and I have to put the work in. Yes, God's going to mold and he's going he's gonna to work on what I have, but he's got to have something to mold and, and something, to, something to shape. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not going to give God nothing because then nothing's going to happen. I got to give him the best of me too. I got to put in the work. So, so for all you people out there to have a dream and, and, and inspirations and, and you feel like you want to do stuff, then I would consider that. I would consider, hold on a second, my wife's called me. Oh, she's going to get married because I declined it. But you have to consider that, you know, what, what are you doing to work towards your dream? Are you, are you goofing off? Are you, uh, are you just watching, you know, like me anime? I mean, it's not wrong to watch anime if you're done practicing. I would put in two hours of, of guitar practice before I watched an episode of anime. Now, you can you can rack that up. Let's say you practice uh, 10 hours, and this is just bare minimum, 10 hours a week. And, and this is just being, that's just the bare minimum. I, if you want to be, if, like me, if I'm a musician, I would expect you practice at least 10 hours a week. At least in order to, uh, in order to, you know, increase your talent, I don't want to say increase your talent, but uh, shape your talent, and um, and work on your technique, and 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 everything else that comes with it. Because man, that's there's just I play electric guitar, so there's a whole bunch of things that I know I need to get better at. I need to get better at uh, my tone. I need to get better at my technique. I'm not. I need to get better at, you know theory the theory of the guitar triads and 
and major sevenths and ninths and thirteenths and all that. So I have to put in the work, and it's not always just putting in the work on the guitar. It's learning it on paper first, like the theory, and then applying it to, to the guitar. So I'm saying, like once again, I'm saying all that to say this: if you want to get good at something, if you want to get great at at something then you need to get your priorities in, in order. You need to get your priorities right. And you need to focus on what's important to you. What are you doing now that's going to affect your future? What are you doing now that's going to affect your future? Um, are you putting in the work? So what I do now as a musician is going to pay off in the future, hopefully. And I know it will because God has, God has spoken to me and told me that I got to do my part too. God can tell you something a million times over, but if you're just sitting there not doing anything, then, you know, it's up to you to fulfill what your purpose here on this earth is, what your purpose here on this earth is. So if your purpose was has been given to you and it's God-given and you know it for sure, and you're sitting there wasting away, uh, then I feel I feel bad for you. I feel sorry for you because it's, it's better to heal, hear a good and faithful servant than to hear I never knew you when you reached the gates of heaven when you're getting judged so I really I really have and I feel responsibility to do what I what I gotta do here on earth I mean I've got songs I might not be the best guitarist and I know I'm not there's there's plenty of guitarists out there I know Chris Rocha he's he's really great guitarist and I inspire to be like him he's, he's one of the ones that I look up to and, um, and and you know countless other musicians out there that are way better than me uh, but I have something that, uh, and everybody has something that not everybody has. They have their own songs. They have their own music. They have their own, you know, God-given abilities and talents and, and melodies and, and stuff like that that can be, um, you know, divinely inspired. And I really believe that. And I have some that God has given me that I need to put out there. And hopefully these songs can touch somebody like how I was touched when I first got saved. So quick, quick testimony. I'm not going to share my testimony right now. But uh, one of the one of the things that that God used to bring me to him was was song music. So I remember there was this one brother at church right before I got saved. It was actually that an encounter. Quick, 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 real quick. I don't want to share my testimony now. So that's for another video. But um, this guy was playing a melody that touched my my soul. I don't want. It didn't touch just my heart. It touched the, the, my soul. It it, it 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 made me feel something. It made me feel. Um, I don't know if I I don't know if I should say it made me feel close to God because at that at that particular moment, um, I hadn't accepted God as my savior or Jesus as my savior or Yeshua. Uh, you know they're all one and the same. Uh, so I didn't, I hadn't accepted them yet, but I, but I felt like it brought me closer to, to, to that. You know what I mean? Oops. Something just flew out of my mouth. <laughs> Dang. I just ate that taco. I guess I had something in my teeth. Uh, but anyway, that melody, that specific melody that was being played that day, man, it touched, it penetrated my soul. It, 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 it got to me. And, and that, that really drove it drew, it drove me to the edge of, of saying, you know what, Jesus, I'm, I'm yours, I'm here. And, and it wasn't necessarily just the music, but that was an instrument that helped, you know, create that atmosphere for me to feel that way. So hopefully with, with the stuff that I'm doing, I can impact somebody, even, even if it's just one person, to feel what I did and, 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 and me be an instrument to help them bring, uh, or me be an instrument to help bring someone closer to God or maybe just create the atmosphere to, uh, for that to happen I mean that's that's my goal that's my dream and that's what I want to do so that's why I'm I'm going back to Cancion I'm almost I'm old I'm getting old I'm almost 40 years old uh, but hey God's timing is perfect God knew what he was doing um, uh, and I you know based on the decisions that I made and 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 um, I decided and I talked to my wife I said hey I need to go back and finish what I started so here I am so right now we're going to go meet Santiago um, and that'll be that so talk to you guys soon
So change of plans, uh, I'm not gonna be in Santiago today. We switched the date, um, but I am home and it is uh, Mother's Day tomorrow. So um, I decided to treat my wife to a pedicure or manicure. I don't know which one, the fetus, whatever that one is. Uh, pedicure or manicure, I don't know what it is. Uh, but yeah, so, but this is my house, um, my humble vehicles. And um, I am gonna have to cut the grass. As you can see, it's getting pretty long. It's getting pretty long, so I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm probably gonna take a nap. Um, probably take a nap, and then after that, um, cut the grass. And then maybe practice uh, guitar a little bit because I do have a, a place to play at tomorrow. So that's my dog keeping in through the door there. And that's the backyard. It's a lot of grass to cut. So yeah, let's do it. So I just got home and my family's having a picnic. Say hi, Isaiah. Hi. This is Allison. Hi. This is Elijah. Say hi. <laughs> and my beautiful wife. Hi. So yeah. So um, this I know you've seen my uh, room in a lot of the videos, but here's some of the shoes that I have that I either got to sell or do reviews on. So I know it's a lot. And then I have these as well. Don't mind the dirty clothes. And then I also have, this is gonna be my closet, my own collection of sneakers up here. And down there, which you can't see them all. But. And I also collect uh, figurines, uh, Dragon Ball Z figures, call me a nerd or whatnot. And, uh, you know, He-Man, I grew up with He-Man. I got Baby Yoda up there. And I got some Final Fantasy VII uh, figures too. So, yeah, this is where the magic happens as far as our uh, videos. And this room is where we try to film them. And um, I'm trying to get somewhere to film them later on, maybe in the garage or something. And um, yeah, that's what I got for my birthday. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to find somewhere to film videos and stuff. So. So I don't have to be filming them all in the, the bedroom. So that's that. All right, so I literally just woke up. I took like an hour nap. My wife went to go do her nails and I need to wake up. So the kids and I decided to go take a walk. And um, Feeling really tired, really sleepy. I had a long week. So on top of going to school, I I have a um, a job where I recently got a promotion. A promotion. Sorry, I'm tired. But I recently got a promotion at my job, and it's requiring a lot of my time. And um, it's it's uh, mentally taxing. So yeah, but I like it. Love it. I said my full-time dream job is to be a, a, a musician, so, and be able to provide for my family, which I do believe one day will happen, so, dreams do come true, the key is lean on Jesus and be persistent. So my wife just got back from doing, so it was a pedicure and a manicure. 
I didn't know. But <laughs> well, here you go. So she got the petty. Is this the pedicure, the cute one? Yeah. So she got the petty. Not petty, pedicure. Because they're not petty, right? She got her hands. Her hands dead. Oh, those are nice. Okay. All right, it's time to work out. Time to lift some weight. Sorry for the, man, look at this garage, so messy. Woo There's a accountability video. So the next time I, I record a video here, it's not gonna look like this. So a monkey wrench got thrown into my day and I had to um, help cover someone's emergency uh, at my job. So didn't get to cut the grass. But nonetheless, we're still out here, you know, duty calls. So, we're out here. So they called in for repairing the water main for the entire intersection. They've already gotten work here and I marked the service over there across the street. They didn't specify what side of the road they were working on. But I had to make sure that my utilities were protected. So yeah, it is what it is. So I'm, I don't know, that kind of threw my whole day off. So my wife is at, currently at her um, aunt's house and uncle's um, celebrating her son's, I think birthday, KJ. So um, yeah, it is what it is. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get home. I'm gonna think about it on the ride home. I'm currently an hour away from the house. So I'm thinking I'm either gonna practice for tomorrow's service, which I'm have a service tomorrow. <sighs> cut the grass, maybe. Maybe cut the grass and then practice. I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get home. But um, more than likely, I do wanna cut the grass because the grass is getting pretty high. But um, I also need to practice for tomorrow. So I don't wanna say I'm stressed, but I need to make a decision on what I'm gonna do because definitely need, need to get those two things done so it is what it is So it's eight o'clock now and I just got home. So I got about an hour of daylight. So I figured I cut the grass and then practice. Let's see how it goes. I don't know. We got two dogs. We got Luna that we're gonna let out right now to go for a walk. Go ahead, girl, do your thing. And then we got, um, Then we got my boy Rex, which I'm gonna have to put up. Hey boy, since I'm gonna cut the grass. All right, boy, get in your cage. Get in your cage. Rex, good boy. And we are looking for a home for him. Not be I love him, I don't wanna give him away, but I just don't have the time to take care of him. And um, the kids are afraid of him, so. Hey, get in your, get in your cage, girl, good girl. All right, you got your food. So, Rex has his little doggy door. So he comes and goes as he pleases uh, to the backyard, which is fenced in. Which is a mess right now. Oh my gosh, I need to clean it. I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to cut the grass or anything. Why is my garage, not in my garage, but why is my shed open? So as you can see, my grass is pretty tall. Get some of this stuff out the way before I start cutting the grass. Yeah, so it is what it is. Um, hey, I gotta cut it. Sometimes my wife cuts it for me. Oh, this toy's off the ground. Sometimes my wife cuts it for me. Um, but she's been real busy too with the homeschooling 
and stuff like that. Homeschooling the kids and, and everything else. So I don't want to put too much on her plate. But sometimes she does take it upon herself to go ahead and just cut the grass as well. Which is, it's a big yard. It's a lot of grass to cut. So it's about an acre of land and it goes way back. It might not look that big on the camera, but maybe one day I'll walk it. Shed closed. This is where we keep our lawnmower. That was passed down to me from my father-in-law. He has his own land company. I get it a, I get it a lawn care if anybody's interested. Got my pressure washer too for the pressure washer, washer business I was supposed to start. And you got the one here. Which I do kind of, I still do it sometimes, but yeah, this it's a little beat up, but hey, she gets the job done. So, see you guys later. wife just got here from KJ's party which I couldn't go to and um, we're about to do some um, shoe unboxings all right now to unbox some shoes the first ones that we got here uh, so um, I don't know what they are. I don't even remember what I have ordered. So I'm gonna be just as surprised as you or what I've hit on. Me and my wife both hit or we both um, use our cell phones, hers and mine, to get a better chance of winning. So let's see what these are. I like to keep the box intact because I usually when I resell them, um, I just keep them in the original box. So let's see what we got here. That's how we justice. I'm, I'm, oh, these are Jordan 1s by the look of the box. Might be wrong. Oh, these are done. Oh, snap. These are nice. These are the pandas. I forgot I hit on these. Super nice, man. Wow. So, the quality on these is really good. Get the lighting right. So, 
but the quality on these are good. A little bit of fuzz showing there, but I like them. I think these are nice, super nice. I forgot I hit on these dunks, man. These are nice. Oh, uh, let me see what size they are. Well, let's see on the box. Yeah. So they're size seven and a half in women and a six in men. So dunks. This is the first unboxing. This is the back. All right, cool. Man, I, I'm, I'm excited about these. I like these. So let me see what we have next. Uh, this one's already open. Huh. The box here. These are going to be the 11s. 11 low comfort uh, bread. Now, what do y'all think about these? A lot of people are calling these bricks and the resale value on these is not high at all. Um, have not had a chance to try them on yet to see just how comfortable they are. But, uh, yeah, you know, they, they look like 11s. A lot of people knock these because they're the cheaper uh, comfort ones or CMFT. Is that what it stands for comfort? I think, I think so, I'm not sure. On the back, side, front, back, side to side. What's up? Let me know what y'all think about these. Quality doesn't seem, it seems pretty good. I mean, it looks like a cheaper shoe. I mean, you get what you pay for, right? Got a patent leather up front. Some kind of, I don't know if that's leather or, it smells like leather. Synthetic leather, I was gonna say. Okay, so those, these are the 11 bread comforts. Let me know what y'all think, are these bricks or not? I can, I can understand why people call them bricks, but if you don't pay a lot of money for them or if they're not that popular, people are gonna call them bricks all day long because that's, that's exactly where a brick is. They're just gonna be sitting there collecting dust. Um, okay, so that's that. Let's get on to this next one. This one's already open too. Let's see what we got. We got some more J's. I don't know which ones these are. So is that 11? There might be some more comfort, some 11s. I'm gonna add this there, I'm gonna show that. Oh, okay. These are the Jordan 1s. Lowe's in reverse bread, I believe. Let me know what y'all think. I think these are nice, actually. I think these are really nice. Smells good. Got that J smell. Jordan emblem in the back. I think they're nice. I think these are really nice. Let me know what y'all think. Are these bricks? Would you call these bricks? I think I, I think I paid like 90 bucks for these. I don't know what the resale value on them is. I do not know what the resale value on is, but I think these are nice. I think they're really cool. So, let's get on with the show. So let me see what we got here next. 
So next we got the um, we got the Kim Jones by Converse. So I'm gonna call this little section. I know I'm doing the vlog, but they didn't like me, but sometimes I don't even remember what I hit on when I hit and until it gets here. So these are the Converse uh, Kim Jones and neutral. I, I think it's neutral is the color. Dim this light a little bit. Let me make it another, another, another color. There we go. I want to turn it off. The light, the light. So, what do y'all think? And we're gonna be doing a review on these soon. Uh, my wife and I, because I, I hit on the women's size too. So. These are the um, Converse Kim Jones. Let me know what y'all what y'all think. Bricks, bricks or what? Let me know. Okay. I'll go ahead and put these here. So it's uh, nine o'clock already, and I still gotta practice. So. Set those to the side. What's next? Got another box here. And these are gonna be the Converse Play. Um, Come this Garcon, Garcons, Garcons. Am I saying that right? I don't know. Is it French? Is it Italian? Is it Spanish? I don't know. I know it's not Spanish. I hope it's not because I'm gonna be super embarrassed. Um, but yeah, these are the ones in gray. We're gonna be doing a shoe review on these two. My wife really likes these. I don't know if she's gonna keep them or not. But we just saw Travis Scott wear these, so maybe they might go up in value. Maybe not. So are these bricks? Would you cop these or would you drop these? Let me know. So that's this one. Don't know if I'm gonna keep these or sell these yet. All right, what we got next? Um, I can already see by the shape of this. This is the Easter's. So these were the Easter's. A lot of people try to cop them during Easter's. Pero, um, they're not so hot anymore. They're actually selling below retail. And, um, but anyway, so to the unboxing. That's, it looks like green grass in there. Fix this lighting a little bit. There we go. Got a bunch of paper. So these are actually really cool, I think. They got like a certain shimmer there. Ah, I miss this light. How do I get this light right? Okay, there we go. There we go. I don't know if y'all can see it, the shimmer that I'm talking about. The light is horrible. Lighting is super bad. So, but you gotta work with what you got. There we go. So hopefully I can get it better. Just um, fix the exposure a little bit. There we go. So let me know what y'all think about these. It almost has like kind of like a, 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 a purple hue. You look at it, it just right. Let me know what y'all think. I think these are gonna go up in value, uh, but up until maybe next year. If you hold on to these, they might go up in value um, by next Easter. As Nacho Libre would say. So these are, these are cool. I like them. Let me know what y'all think. Once again, are these bricks 
Are these bricks or are these keepers? Let me know. Bricks or keepers? I don't know. You let me know. Let me know in the comments. So, I know for sure I have some more comforts. I think these are them. So, don't worry, y'all. I got some interesting stuff in here, too. So don't feel bad. Bear with me, man. I got some cool stuff to show y'all. They're definitely not bricks. So, these are the... 11s in gray. I want to call them cool gray, but I'm not sure if they're cool gray. But whether whether they're cool or not, that's up to you. Are these bricks? Do you want to? Would you cop these? Would you wear them? I should actually wear these and figure out whether they're comfortable or not. Cause I have 11s, man. I I love 11s, but as far as comfort, man, they they hurt my feet. They're they're the least comfortable of all the Jordans to me, in my opinion. And they might have to do with the uh with the patent leather. So that's the Jordans. Would you cop these? Um, let me fix this lighting a little bit. make it super bright does that work better so these are the 11s that's too bad. it hurts my eyes it hurts my eyes see well, when my wife is here to, to help me she can control all that and, but she's not behind the camera and I have a camera on front view so shout out to my wife which I love very much thank you thank you thank you so that's this, that's the comfort. And it actually has, I think, CMFT written on this, this shoe right here, not on this other one. So, I'm gonna put these away for right now. All right, now to the interesting stuff. These are the surprise boxes. I don't know what's in here. These four are gonna be the surprise boxes. I do not know what's in these, but let's open them up, shall we? Let's open them up together. You ready? That didn't go like I wanted. All right, here we go. Oh, these are small. <laughs> yeah! So, Travis Scott just released the... Uh, the six retros in wheat and we got them hey baby we'll take whatever we can get we'll take what we can get nike we got them in toddler size the box has got to be the cutest box man that i've ever seen for the toddler these are this is this is nice man i hope it's safe. Let, let's let's do the unveiling together you ready so oh <laughs> yeah, I got a little baggy for the baby. You know what I mean? Look at this. Wow. They got the baggy little backpack. Oh, this is nice. I'm I was gonna sell these, y'all. I'm not. My baby's gonna wear these. He gotta wear the best too. If Poppy wears the best, he gotta wear the best. So check this out, y'all. Oh, it comes with the extra laces and everything. Look at that. Oh. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Tell me that ain't nice. Tell me that ain't pretty. Oh. So let's take one out. <laughs> oh, these are so, so nice. So cute, man. Look at this. They're the toddler. They're the toddler um, Travis Scott's. So the, the quality on these is really nice. It's got the little, 
you know, a little flat. But I mean, this one doesn't have a pocket. You don't, you can't put anything in this one. Um, it has a little zipper that does open and it's just there for aesthetics. It doesn't, you can't put anything in there either. I thought you would. But these are super nice, man. These are nice. I might do a separate uh, video on these or not. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think. Do these glow? Ah, I heard that the Travis Scott's glow. No, I don't think these glow. Is that true? Do they glow, the real ones? Let me know. Look at that. Look at the little detail right there. Look at that. Ah, oh, the box is so heavy. Look at that, it's even got the extra laces, y'all. Man, this is so cool. I like it. I like it. Look at that. What do y'all think? I think these are super cool. Cactus Jack, it says. Ah, oh, these are super nice. Babe! Babe! Look at these. Oh, super cute. Look at how cute these little Travis Scotts are. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Look at the little baggie it comes with. That is cute. Elijah will keep those. Yes, he is. Oh, They're really nice. Did you tell them the color? Yes, yeah, wheat. And the wheat? box. No, this. What? What color is that? What is that? I don't know. It's like a highlighter color, like a pink. I think it's orange, unless I'm colorblind. But the box is really cool. The box is real heavy duty. Super heavy duty on the box. So these are nice. You can only see my head. Guys, because I'm really short. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm short too, supposedly. <laughs> but not as short as you. I'm just real short, babe. <laughs> All right, They're so these cute. are, yeah, I know. I, I need Wait, you to make it. They're his, um, seven, seven C. Like so it. we're definitely going to keep these. Babe, the light keeps on going in and out on the camera. I don't know what's wrong with it. On your phone? Yeah. I mean, I think it's because the, the light's too bright. Can you dim it? So, no, you can't. I try to dim it. So, we're these, these are super nice. Even the box things. is cute. Yeah, here, go put these up. Go put those up somewhere. Elijah will be rocking these tomorrow for Mother's Day. Yes, he will. <laughs> so, let's open up this other box. Uh oh. Did you get some for Isaiah? I tried to. I don't think I have any here. So, let me see. Go ahead. Someone put a piece of tape over it. Was it me? No, it wasn't. I haven't opened these yet. So, once again, let's do it together. Hopefully, this will go. This will work out better next than last time. That's what it was supposed to do. All right, let's go. Are these Jordans or are these uh, Dunks? We shall find out. Let's find out together. Oh, more dunks! Oh, that's what's up. These are a size seven and a half, Cell Coast University Gold. Oh, these are nice. Y'all, these are size seven and a half. If y'all interested, six and men. Um, I will be posting these for sale soon. Hold on. There we go. You do need it brighter for this one. These are nice. Super clean, super, super clean. Look at that. So, so pretty. So, so pretty. So, so pretty. Sorry, I'm annoying sometimes. But um, yeah, these are nice. These are super nice. 
super, super nice. I like these. These are definitely, there's no debate on whether these are bricks or not. They're definitely not bricks. These are a must cop. And like I said, and like I said, um, these will be up for sale later. So look out for them on my Facebook market. Um, and, or now, nah, you know what? I'm just gonna start. <sighs> no, I, I just reminded myself of something. I have a bunch of bad experiences from Offer Up. I'm not using that app no more. That app can kick rocks. Um, not using Offer Up anymore. I had someone just yesterday waste my gas to go meet him and he want to take his little black light out and look at my shoes and talking about, can I look at them inside your van? No, first of all, you can't look at them inside my van. That's my van. I don't know you ain't trying to jack me, jack my van and then run off with my sneakers and my van. No, no, sir. He got his little black light. He started investigating. Ugh. How come the how come the shoelaces ain't tied? Y'all saw with me. These shoelaces are were not tied when I got them out. He talked about why aren't the shoelaces tied? I don't know. Maybe they forgot to tie them when they said before they sent them to me. I don't know. Maybe it's because uh that's just the way it is. Why are you worried about shoelaces not being tied? Oh, it's because it looks like somebody's worn them. Well, you know what? Get your little black light and get out of here. Cause you wasted my time, bro. So I ain't never using offer up again. And I'm debating on whether or not to uh, keep using marketplace. I'm using eBay, I'm using GOAT, and I'm using uh, StockX from here on out. And these are going, these are going for a pretty penny on GOAT and StockX. So, oh, look at that little detail on the, on the laces, the yellow. So I'm probably just gonna end up selling them on uh, StockX or Go, whichever one gives me more money. So unless somebody hits me up when this video comes out and tells me, hey, I want those shoes, hold them, and I'll give you a good price on them. Below StockX or Go. That's a special homie discount. All right. So we have, we have, um, maybe potentially some bricks, the comforts and, and maybe some people, oh, I did just sell the, um, I forgot to mention this. I did sell the bread comforts for what I paid for. So I ain't mad, at least I didn't lose any money. Sometimes you gotta take a loss. Some, there's multiple losses. Sometimes you buy a show and you think it's gonna be hot and then it ends up being a brick and then you might have to sell for, for below retail just to keep things moving. Keep money circulating or whatnot. But um, uh, let's do this next this next box together. Here we go. You all ready? You all ready? I can't even speak. Ready? All right, let's go. Oh. Oh, let's go. Oh, these are heavy. Uh-oh, are these what I think they are? Uh-oh, look at this box, y'all. <gasps> LeBron James. Ooh. Some people might call these bricks, though. But I'm gonna see what they look like. So we got these in the size nine. Um... So these are also gonna go going up for sale because I don't wear size nine. I wear size eleven. And uh, but let's go ahead and unbox them together. Can y'all guess, guess the colorway? Let's do this together, y'all. Cause we family. We family, y'all. We family. Oh, oh. These are nice. Oh, these are nice. Oh, let me know what y'all think. Some people might call these bricks though because they're not Jordan. Mm, let me know what y'all think. Uh, I like them, man. If these were in my size, I think I can I think I can pull it off. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, snap. No, he didn't. He put a little a lion right there. 
Can y'all see that? He put a lion in there, man. You crazy, LeBron. You got it going on, bro. You got it going on. Look at that. He got a lion in there in the tongue. Who does, who does that? Oh, snap. He got the lion right here, too. Oh, no. That's what's up. I like it. Oh, this feels comfortable. Man, I wish I could try these on. I wish I could keep these. Dang, the color's nice, too. Got the suede. I don't know what that is. Is that plastic? I don't know what that is. Plastic, whatever it is. I don't know what type of material that is. But, wow, these feel hard, though. These are nice, man. These are super nice. I like these. Woo wee. I like the detail. I don't know. I don't know why he put that little line on there. He's trying to act. He, well, he's, he's the king of the jungle now or what? Wow. Some people would have put a goat. But LeBron said, nah, I ain't put no goat. I'm going to put a lion. Because lions feast on goats, baby. Because lions feast on goats, baby. I said it. Lions feed. Feast on goats. Look at that. Rawr. Look at that line. Rawr. That's what's up. Hey, LeBron, I mess with you, man. LeBron James. It's the confidence for me. He called himself the lion, the king of the jungle. Let me know what y'all think. Are these bricks? Did y'all cop them? Do y'all like them? Let me know in the comments. Oh, I like the box too. The box is clean. The box is clean. The LeBrons. LeBron James 9. Put these in the box. The colorway on these is Varsity Royal White. Royal Varsity. Alright. Whatever, LeBron. I feel you, brother. All right. Let's do the last one. This is the last one that I got. I know this has been a long video, but I didn't even want to, I, I not one, I did want to unbox them, but this was supposed to be just a day in the life of me, but this is part of my life, baby. Get with it. So let's, oh, this one faulty. Oh, snap, it broke. Okay. Whatever, it's just a box, right? Ooh. Ooh, look at the box. The Ali Mays Jordan 1s. Cop or drop? Are they hot? Would you cop them? Let's open them together. You ready? The Ali Mays, baby. Sorry, y'all. I get excited with shoes, man. Oh! That's what's happening, Captain. Look at that. Look at the shine. Oh, snap. These are a size seven and a half, y'all, if y'all want them. These are the Jordan 1 Zoom Comforts. Ali May, Hyper Royal, and Pine Green, baby. I can dig it. I can dig it. Look at that, man. That's nice. Woo-wee! I'm excited, y'all. Look at the inside of the box. Uh-uh. Oh, these are nice. I'm excited, man. Look at these. Oh, snap. These are super high top. Look at that. Look like a flat top in the top. Oh, my God. Look at the detail. Look at that detail, y'all. Wow. The tongue safe. Zoom air. Man, if I could get that lighting right. That lighting, this lighting is horrible. There we go. Or not. There we go. Got fuzzy, some fuzzy right there. Like carpet, feel like a carpet. Different, unique. Look at that high, that's, that's a high top. They ain't messing around with this one. This is a high top. 
You feel me, baby? Look at that. Wow. Look at the color on the bottom. When you're walking and you just step up, ooh, yellow, 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 yellow. All right, we got some extra laces. So we got a variety of, you know, you can rock the green, you can rock the yellow, you can rock the, the uh, cream. Cream. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Look at that zoom air. Wow, look at that. And cash don't rule everything around me. Jesus does, baby. I'm I'm a changed man. I'm a changed man. Yeshua all day long, baby. Look at that. Wow, look at that. Look, look, look how high that is. Now, I don't care what y'all say, these ain't bricks. These ain't bricks. If I had them in my size, I would rock these. These ain't bricks, baby. Yellow. Yellow. Do you hear me? Yellow. Look at that. Wow. These are nice. I'm messing with these. The Ali Mays Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort. I'm messing with these. I'm messing with these. I don't care what y'all say. I wish I had them in my size. I would rock them. I don't care if I could pull these off or not. I will still rock them. Oop. I will still rock them. Look at that. All right, so that's, that's all the shoes. I mean, let me know what y'all think. So this is what I think in my opinion. I put the heat up front. I put the heat up front. I put the Adley Maze up there. The front from um, the most popular to what I think would be the hardest to sell. Right now, these probably. And what I think potentially may become bricks in the back. It may be sitting for a little bit. Oh, those I already sold. But these right here, baby. Let's just get some appreciation for these Ali Mays. Oh, my goodness. These are nice, crisp, beautiful shoes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow. These dunks are nice, too. Look at them. Look at them. Wow. Let me know what y'all think. Which one's y'all favorites? Which ones would y'all keep? Which ones would y'all sell? This, let's take another look at this, this lion right here. This dude got the lion on the tongue. What's up, baby? Rawr. Look at that lion looking mean. Look at that lion looking mean. He got the, he got the glow in the eye. What's up? Oh, wow. All right, LeBron. I hear you. I hear you, brother. Wow, look at that. Okay, that's enough. What y'all think about the dunks? I think I'm gonna um, I'm gonna sell these. These are gonna be so easy to sell. These are gonna be super easy, super easy. I might have a little trouble with these. Might have some trouble with these. These probably I could probably I don't know I don't know about these. I I, I think I I can sell them. And those two in the back, I already sold that one. That one I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I might gift them to my dad because he needs some shoes. Those are some dad shoes right there. They're built for comfort, baby. They're built for comfort. So, uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think. Which ones would y'all keep? Which ones would y'all rock? Which ones would y'all drop? And so on and so forth. So the only thing I got left to do is practice. So that would be the last thing that I would have to do. And I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the video right here. So this is it's already 9.44. We're about to... Uh, so before we go to sleep, we always pray with the kids. Um, pray with the kids. We all pray in the baby. Oh, babe. 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 Bring me the Travis Scotts again. So I want to put them over here. So I want to show them off a little bit. I want to put them on bed right here. My bad, y'all. I was leaving out the baby Scotts. The baby Travis Scott. Let's get some appreciation for these. These are, man, these are too cute. Look at them. Look at them. So, yeah, I was leaving these out, man. I'm sorry. So, we got a little bit of heat for the baby right here. We got some baby heat. 
some baby heat. <laughs> we got some baby heat. Oh, I love them. And we got some. We got the heat in the front. With the, I'm gonna call those mid grade and the, and the dirt in the back. So not dirt. I don't want to call it dirt. I mean, I don't want to be disrespectful. Some people might like them. All right, but anyway. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna put the kids to see this 944. I'll probably practice from 10 to 11, but let me know what y'all think. Uh, this has been the day in the life of Chewy, and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm more of a night person, as you can tell. This morning when I was driving the, the cancion, um, kind of feeling a little tired, but now that I'm I operate a little better in the evenings. Let me just put it to you that way. So anyway, love y'all. God bless. Like and subscribe. And until next time, peace. Oh, um, let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Is Do I need to stop? Do I need to stop making these type of videos? Do I need to go ahead and continue? Um, I don't know. And I was also thinking about adding some more music videos to my um, to our channel. And when I say music videos, I mean like uh, tutorials and stuff like that. So let me know what y'all think in um, like guitar tutorials and tips. And like I said, I'm in the band, uh, Yagox, uh, Yagox Oficial. If you haven't already checked it out, please like and subscribe to that too. Our Instagram is Rivera Family 5 and my Instagram page is Chewy.Yagox. Uh, Yagox, um, I was gonna say .com, but Chewy.Yagox. So make sure to check that out. Love y'all. God bless, until next time, peace.